Hey, hey, today, 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 I really want to share something with you that I can definitely relate to this in my life. And I've talked to a lot of coaches and I've helped, helped a lot of people with similar issues and I, I, I see it all the time. And Marie Forleo made a great video and she used the quote, which I have right here on my phone, uh, by Mary Oliver. And... I think it's really fascinating. I think regret is a fascinating topic, and I think we all go through that in life. It's inevitable to go through regret in some area of life. Um, and the quote goes like this. She said, so Mary Oliver said, the most regretful people on earth are those who felt the call to creative work, who felt their own creative power restive and uprising and gave to it neither power nor time. I'll put the quote in the description below if you want to see it. Um, I can definitely relate to this in my life. I know when I've held back, right? I've, I, it's funny, like I, I'm very, I have a lot of passion. I, I really want to do a lot of things, but I, I, I'm not very clear on what I want to do. So because of that lack of clarity, I hold back on my creativity, on my on what I do, on how I want to help the world, right? And you might relate to that. You might hold back on different ways or in very similar ways. And maybe you're more clear, maybe you're not. It doesn't matter. But if you feel that urge to create, to do something, to bring something new to the world, right? Not moving forward on that. I believe is such a huge, not only a stressor for you, right, a mental, emotional stressor, or even a, a spiritual stressor, if you feel like your soul's asking for you to do something, but I believe it can definitely lead to sadness, depression, anxiety, a lot of different emotions that, because that creative juice that creative energy is trying to move through you right that's trying to move through you so that you create so that you bring to the world that little gift well not little huge gift that you were put here to bring right and i know it's scary it's very extremely scary um i'm still nervous when i put myself out there right are people going to like this? Is this going to be helpful? Or is it just me like rambling and just ranting and talking about crap that no one cares about? I, I think about that all the time. But I know that when I step through that fear, right? When, when I follow the fear, not only face the fear, but actually follow the fear and see what's behind it, right? And then I make a video and I get really good feedback and messages and stuff. And I know that it's actually touching people's lives. It's actually helping people, right? It's actually having a positive impact and that's my goal right that's my goal and I know that for you it might be through any other medium right it might be through art any kind of art like music or any painting drawing anything like that it might be through anything you can think of and imagine right and it's scary to put yourself out there when it's something that is so personal like art or, or things like that. But the impact that you could have, oh my gosh. And it doesn't have to be for millions of people. It can be for a hundred people. It doesn't matter. Fifty people. It's... I believe it's about just letting your heart come out. Just pour out whatever's in your heart. And share that with people, share that with the world. I love that, that story by Bashar that there was a beautiful work of art in a table, right? And there were four people sitting around it. So let's say I'm on this side and you're on that side, right? If I share my, what I see from my side, right? then you get a very nice picture of what I'm seeing. But if you don't share with me what you're looking at, what you are seeing from your perspective, from your point of view, then I don't know what the whole piece is like. I don't know what the whole story is like. Right? And no one has your perspective, your point of view, your ideas. 
your vision. No one has that, right? You're the only one in the world who has your fingerprints, your eyes, your brain, your mind, your heart, everything. You're the only one. There will never be another you. There has never been another you. There is no other you. So please share that with the world. Please give the world that gift that you have that's in your heart because regret freaking sucks, believe me. I love, I think it was Mark Twain or so, I forget who it was, to say that in life, at the end of life, we don't regret the things that we did. We regret the things that we didn't do. And I've been doing that for a while, like I don't want to regret. There's a lot of things that maybe I'm still kind of like in the process of kind of like letting go or whatever and I still regret doing, but it was still beautiful lessons and beautiful things. But I don't want to continue to go forward in life regretting not doing things I want to do, right? Regretting not doing what my heart is asking me to do, right? And I think it was Wayne Dyer that said, like, don't die with your music still in you, right? Don't die with that passion, that gift, that all that's trying to bubble up and come up out of you. There's a reason why that's there. There's a huge reason why that's there. Not only will that be a gift for others who receive that, whether it's through, like I said, any kind of art, not only is it a gift for those people who receive that, but it will be a gift for you. Because you deserve to be heard, you deserve to be seen for the beautiful person that you are, for all the beauty that's in you. Please, please share that with the world. Please share your gifts with the world, your heart, everything that you were put on this planet to inspire other, others with. Hope that helps. Thank you.